good moon to you viewers and welcome to Under the Moons. You join me today as I open up the first chapter of what could be a J.R. Tolkien sized novel or possibly just the length of a flyer left in a discarded evening standard newspaper left on the 615 train from Charing Cross Station. How many episodes I can produce really relies on how the stars are positioned that night or if I lose interest. Alas my friend, we shall only know as time passes. So without further delay, may I introduce first adventure we dive into, but before that, a sip of this fine scotch to clear my throat. <clears> throat> oh, fantastic. Okay, so as I was saying, the first adventure we're going to dive into is the 1999 appeal game, Outcast. It was a fantastic game which won Game of the Year awards and was met with a lot of critical success. Um, but why haven't you heard of it? Well, the graphics used to create Outcast needed a powerful graphics card to run. Well, these days, that wouldn't be a problem. Yet back in 1999, computers were so expensive that not a lot of people were actually able to play this game. Uh, but now, years later, thanks for good old games.com, we were able to play Outcast. Uh, a quick warning for bad graphics. Uh, yes, it was seen as amazing back then, uh, but we are talking 15 years ago. Uh, anyway, let's begin with a lengthy intro. Roll tape. Okay. Okay. came the discovery of the superstrings theory, which stated that an elementary particle that is 10 to the negative 35 meters in diameter was the basic element of all matter. This prompted the idea that an infinite number of worlds exist parallel to our own, all separated by extra dimensions at the subatomic scale. Our will be a year long remembered in the scientific world as Professor William Kaufman's published work on ubiquitary strings is released. Simply put, Kaufman predicts that travel to a parallel world may be possible using a method he's called string tunneling. But many in the scientific field, while agreeing with his findings, say that the power output that is needed is far beyond the capabilities of science. Anthony Zhu's trial ended today with a narrow, not guilty verdict. The families of the 11 MIT lab workers who were killed in the July 1999 explosion contend that Zhu was at fault and that his attempt to create the first matter-antimatter reaction was the cause. Commander Slade? Not bad. I guess my weight, too. I'm Major Vernon, sir. We've got a diamond priority situation at one of our outposts, and I'm to bring you to the site. I got time to finish my drink? Guess not. to the site, and I'm supposed to debrief you before we land. Get on with it, then. In your mission briefing, you'll see that yesterday at 1630 GST, a top-secret military experiment was launched. You gonna need coffee? No, sir. Now, if you'll just follow along. Damn. Okay, I'm all ears, Major. Go on. Well, as you may know, scientists have talked about traveling to parallel worlds for the last couple of years, and yesterday, we did it. Did what? We sent a probe through the boundary separating us from the other dimensions. Really? Where'd you wind up, Belgium? For 71 minutes, we were receiving data back from the probe before an entity from that world damaged it, sending an energy backlash through to our world that's caused an atomic chain reaction we were unable to contain. Looks like your precious lab blew up. Not exactly. Pilot, uh, give me a 30-degree roll to port. It caved in. Let me get this straight. The probe you shot in the Twilight Zone screwed up and is sucking us in? Yes. 
and the vortex is growing exponentially, Commander. We estimate 25 days before the Earth is no more than a cosmic memory. So why am I here? You're here to escort a group of three scientists into the same parallel world to repair and retrieve that probe. I'm trained in combat and survival. I don't run an escort service. Urgent. Soft gear maintenance op needed at Hall G13. Red sector com briefing is a go at 1300 hours. Look, all I'm saying, Anthony, is we weren't ready. I was as eager as you to test our theories, but that didn't give us license to... Us? I'm not taking the fall for your flawed theories, Kaufman. My energy source didn't lose that probe, and when we find it, I'll... Attention. Report all Gentlemen, this is Commander Cutter Slade. He's here to make sure you have no problems on your little trip. No more than you've got, anyway. This is Professor William Kaufman, head of the Cristobal Project. Lab checks, uh, it's a pleasure, Commander. I'm sorry you and me both, Professor. Uh, and Professor Anthony Xu, Professor Kaufman's... Guiding light. Without me, he'd still be at the blueprint stage. Where I fear we should have stayed. We can save the speculation until after we've plugged that hole, gentlemen. Professor Kaufman, you're due at the pad first. Oh, I'll be along momentarily, Major. Urgent. So, what's the plan, Professor? Quite simple, really. When we get to the other world, we locate the damaged probe and repair the systems using these backup cards. Of course, the damage could be anything from the power output to the... It's not the power output. It's the string tunneling device. We'll find that out soon enough, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the pad. Why did they choose you, Commander? Guess I drew the short straw. Nice to know we have something in common. See you on the other side, gentlemen. One step away from proving my energy source can work, and now this. I can't believe my luck. Don't worry, Professor. Stick close to me, we'll get through this. Listen, G.I. Joe. I'm only gonna tell you this once. I don't take orders from anyone. Is that so? I have a strong feeling you're going to be trouble. Mm -hmm. The feeling's mutual, Professor. Suit's a bit on the tight side. Sorry. We've already sent a shipment of new technology weaponry to the other world. The instructions were in your brief. Thanks. By the way, you said three scientists. So far, I've only seen double. Wolf? Oh, God. What's she doing here? Uh, you two know each other? Not really. I know her lawyers pretty well, though. Look, about that, I'm... Is there a problem? I don't really know. Is there a wolf? I wouldn't want the senator upset again. My mother has nothing to do with this. I'm here on my own credentials. Ms. Wolf is our exobiologist, Commander. If your mission runs longer than expected, She'll be helping you figure out which bugs to eat and what plants to Commander avoid. Slade, T -minus 10 minutes to launch. She'll also be attempting Please communication with that. the sentient beings we saw in the probe. Communication? Feed. Her? How ironic. You don't understand, Commander. What happened wasn't... Uh, this uh, happy reunion will have to wait, you two. Commander, we need you on the pad now. Ms. Wolf? What was all that about? Guess you guys didn't have time for background checks. Level with me, Vernon. Is this thing really gonna get us there alive? Would you rather stay here? You've got a point there. Just try not to break anything else before I get back, will you? We'll try, Commander. Good luck.
Okay, so here we go. So this is the graphics of the actual game. Let's get ready for a lot of extra lots of Ulukai. Lots of random stuff. You guys want to keep it down. <clears throat> My head is splitting. Urukai, are you unhurt? I think so, dog, except my hearing's a bit out of whack. I do not understand, Ulukai. Ulukai? What's that, some egghead word for... Oh, holy shit. What is egghead? Who are you? Where are the others? I am Zokrin, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. What others do you talk of? Others... Um, like me. We found you alone, Ulukai. No others were there. Brilliant. Now what? Now? Now we will help you retrieve your five mons and defeat Feyran and his soldier leader, Kroax. Then all of Adelpha will be free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Chief. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've already got a world to save. <laughs> yes, Ulukai, and that is Adelpha. Why do you keep calling me Ulukai? The name is Cutter Slade. Hundreds of moons ago, the Prophet Khazar spoke of a higher being, the Ulukai, who would arrive at this time to save Adelpha from destruction at the hands of Feyran. To do this, you will need the five Mons, sacred objects that have been hidden around the regions of Adelpha, awaiting your arrival. Sounds like you have some real problems. Zokrim, was it? But right now, I gotta find the three other people on my team and a busted probe. That's my first priority. If I have time afterwards, I'll see what I can do about helping you, okay? If you search for friends and busted probe, have you a way of finding them? Now that you mention it, no, I don't. Then I propose a deal with you, Ulokai. I will tell the other Dolotai guardians to go out into their regions and search for what you seek. When they discover anything, they will get word to me. Then I to you. How many men do you have? Once we numbered in the thousands. Now we are but a hundred and getting smaller with each moon. So if I help you get these mons, you'll use your hundred eyes and ears to look around this world for me? Yes. <laughs> Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice here. How will you know where I am? We will know, Ulukai. Many Talon will not believe in you until they hear stories of your good deeds. All will watch your every move. Fair enough. Now the probe is a big shiny metal object, and I need to find it first. Is this what you seek? A backpack? Where'd you get that? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai. As were many sacred objects of the Yods. No, the probe is much bigger than that. You said the rest of the equipment is there? No, Ulukai. When sacred objects were discovered, many Talon take them for themselves, to have a little part of the Yods, and to feel hope that some moon they would help. Most Talon will not want to give up their sacred objects. This mission will be a snap, Commander. It's just a simple repair operation. What could go wrong? Well, let's count. I lost my crew, can't find the probe, my equipment is being used by the natives as rosary beads, <laughs> and I have one backpack with my HK P-12 and 30 rounds of ammo. I believe that places this mission somewhere just south of Fubar. I did not understand all what you said, Ulukai. But if you are looking for more items, I would like to give you this. Ooh, what is it? Fruit. This Gamsav is believed to save at Helen's essence when it is held and squeezed in one's hand. When you do this, a strange glow builds inside the Gamsav, and after a few moments, it lets out a bright light. So it's the safe feature. This is believed to imprint your essence on the Gamsav, but you cannot move while the light is growing. Ah, skip it, Chief. This is too much. Look, I think I need to clear my head. Got a place I can stretch my legs a bit? Of course, Ulukai. Our camp is open to you. You should find my son, Nan. He can help you. Once he has done so, 
Return to me, and I will open the Dalka, so you may leave. Okay, so there we go. Quite a lot to take in there. But pretty much we're sort of now stranded in this parallel universe on a planet called Adelpha, apparently. So, um, yeah. Uh, first things to notice, you can see what I mean about the graphics. Uh, these are working on uh, voxel-based graphics, apparently. And from what I, I don't know a lot about it. From what I'm looking at, though, it sort of seems that it's, sort of, it's taken pixels that now being able to mold them into 3D shapes and whatnot. I don't know. Um, you know, you can see as the camera moves closer, things come to render a bit more in detail. And, uh, I don't know about that, but um, yeah, it's got quite a nice bit of charm to it, and it really does help sort of the atmosphere of the game, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so as you can see, there's sort of like a ripple effect in the water, which is pretty great for, you know, a 1999 game. Um, and there's the Daoka, uh, very similar to a very popular film and TV show, but uh, that's another story. Um, okay, so here we are. Right, so I've got a pretty much find these mons they were talking about Located. scattered around the planet that's gonna be fun um okay so let's get to it so already we've located some i guess that's ammo for the gun so i guess this stuff's gonna be littered all around the place and yeah so like we said about the gam sav so that's pretty much the game's safe feature um I'll tell you Located. what always helpful I will show it to you now. So it's F2 to bring it up. Click. And so what we do, we bring it out. And exactly what it said, it starts to glow. And you leave your imprint on there. So, yeah, it's a bit of a, I don't know, it's a bit of a sort of their way of getting around it. Because, I don't know, it's quite creative when they come up with certain things. So, let's save the file. So let's go save number one. Click. Save. There we go. Okay. Cool. So, um, it's a nice lovely bed. It's a fur coat of some sort there. Alrighty then. So, yeah, so this is 1999 game. Look at that. I mean, I, I, to be honest, I played this, first time I played this game was in 2004, so graphics were still semi crummy back then, but so this game didn't matter, but bother me too much. But, um, yeah, anyway, let's continue. So, first thing to notice for this game is the soundtrack absolutely beautiful soundtrack uh, it was created by the Moscow Symphony Orchestra um, I can't remember the, the the composer's name sadly sorry but um, it's absolutely fantastic um, yeah also the dynamic sounds and sound effects is fantastic uh, we've already had a great great voice acting as well um, you'll see as that develops through the game um, so yeah right so we need to go to talk to Jan we need to figure out who Jan is let's try this guy Hey, come back here. Oh, I can greet him. Okay, so when I talk to people, I'm gonna hold down mouse, then select. Let's go Wait a second, would you? Can we click for yarn, though. Are you yarn? Oh, I'm gonna click for the next function. Yes, Ulukai. Ah, oh, perfect. I'm glad that you were feeling better. Thanks. Your father said you could help me get the kinks out. The what? <laughs> uh, forget it. I need to get some exercise. Can you help me out? I can do that, Ulukai. There are four tests we do here to train other guardians. I can guide you through them if you would like. I would. Let's do this. Then you can choose from our tests of jumping, swimming, targeting, or sneaking. Ooh. So I guess this is sort of like the tutorial level, I guess. So what are we going to go for now? Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a... Target test. What about this targeting test? Let's do this. We have some pots set up to test the shooting skills of the new guardians. Even though my father unwisely follows the no violence teachings of Kazar, we still need to learn how to aim our defensive weapons. I shall show this to you. Yeah, so they mentioned Kazar, which I guess. So Kazar is this old prophet uh, who was around and he, he, he told us about. The Urukai coming to save him from the evil leader, which I think is like a dictator type of thing, called Feyran. Um So yeah, I, I guess that we we're, we're the prophecy to them, and so therefore we've got to do this mission as well as trying to find 
everyone else on our team. Uh, fantastic. And I don't know if you noticed, but they actually leave footprints in this game, which is pretty crazy for... It's sort of... I think it's pretty cool for a game like this. Anyway. So let's talk to Jan again. Uh, target info. What's the deal here? Here you must break these pots. You may find items inside. Ooh. Try and break them all. Okay. So this is where we get our gun out. Laser sighting, not too shabby. You shoot well. Why thank you, Jan. Or Jan, whatever you called. You shoot well. Oh, you just said that. Brilliant. Now let's go get these goodies. Nothing in that one. Oh. Got a little bag of something. So yeah, um, so pretty much I'll just give you a bit of explanation. So this is this is Razanar, I think it's called. And so there's there's a couple of um, different. What I think there's five regions overall in Adelpha, or in this game at least. So this is the snow one, um, and there's four more which we'll see on our way. And um, yeah, and this is definitely the smallest one. There's a cool little feature here where we can scan the terrain for a map. That's pretty cool. That's pretty freaky there. Pretty, pretty beautiful. Okay, so um, so bottom right-hand corner we can see the map. Uh, this is a very very small map compared to all the other ones. So we can see where all the guys are on the maps. Um, and so yeah, I think it's a pretty well flushed out map as well. So that's one test done. Three more to go. Come back at you. So what we're gonna do, guys? We're gonna go swimming test, sneaking test, or jumping. Let's go jump test. Let's try this jumping test. Yes, let's. Follow me, Urukai. I will take you to the place where we test the skills of jumping. <laughs> another well for, and also another thing to to see is the lips. The lips actually move, uh, which I think is pretty fantastic. I mean. It's, it's okay, it's not move, but it's like as if there's like a flap. Oh, okay. Jumping info. What now? Across the water, you can see the steps that lead to the top of the rocks. Jump across there and claim your reward. Only those of strong essence can make this jump. Okay. Okay, so we're going up there, and I guess we're jumping across. Oh, I detected something up there. So let's have a little meander. Collect that. It's gonna be used for something later on in later on in the game, I'm guessing. Okay. So let's just familiarize. Jumping is left click. Here we go. Oh yeah, skills. Let's see if this headset transmitter works. Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people! Turn on your receivers. Thank you, Jan. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Okay, so that's two down, two to go. Hey, Jan, get back here. Okay, swimming test or sneaky test? Let's go for sneaking Come here test. A second, would you? So there's an element of stealth what in this. What is this sneaking test? It's not amazing, but it'll do. This is our most difficult test. Oh boy. Since my father orders that we follow the no violence teachings of Kazar, we find that we are forced to try and sneak into places without the soldiers seeing us. Okay. Nothing wrong with a little sneak and peek. Saves on ammo. If you say, Urukai, <laughs> me, I want to fight. But my father forbids it. And so now we train how to retrieve objects without being spotted. Follow me and I will tell you the rules. Okay. question is, is this game one of those ones where you catch up with the... Oh no, the NPCs are s slower than you. Yep. Okay. Try following Yeah. Oh yeah, another, another great thing to pick up on is just the walking animation. This is great. Everyone looks like they've got like, a board stuck up their ass or something. It's fantastic. And, oh, the jumping sound effect. Fantastic. Um, because I play this a lot of times, it's just these things breeze over, so I gotta, I gotta remember that. Yeah, these things aren't normal. I don't know if these are supposed to be trees, but, um, oh, sorry. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Okay. Where the heck is he 
going. Okay. Uh, sneaking info. How does this work? Ulukai, you will now begin the most difficult of our tests. What we will do is have you stand in the area of the square. Once I say one, two, three, you must begin to try and get the fruit I lay on the ground. Fair enough. Sounds easy enough. Sounds easy enough. It will not be, Urukai. Oh. If you leave the square before I count three, I will start over. If I see you, I will tell you, and you will have to come to me to restart the test. Okay. Let's go, then. Let's do this. Enter your square, and we will begin. Wait for my count, please. <laughs> okay. So this seems to be taken quite seriously, this test. You just seem to get a bit angry. Okay, so I guess this is the square. Detected. Putting down the fruit. Here we go. One, two, three. So he's doing this nice. Okay, I'm gonna. Dana, 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 dana. Okay. <laughs> so he's doing this really awkward, weird. Okay, let's go. Dana, 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 dana. We're all good. Right, it's gonna be a bit hard on this one. Oh god, he's gonna see me. I'm all good. <laughs> it didn't see my awkward place when on the leg there. Okay, this is the final one, guys. I gotta go for it. Oh man. There's like no space to get this at all. <laughs> His little like twitch he has. Uh! Like a little tick. Okay, here we go. Booyah! You did it! I could not see you! And I'm not giving you back the fruit. Okay, last but not least, the swimming test. Pardon me, buddy. Tell me about your test of swimming. The test of swimming. We test the ability of all guardians to swim down into the waters around Adelpha. This is useful for us when we hide our items or want to avoid the soldiers of Croax. Follow me, and I will explain our test. Okay, so swimming. That's always helpful. It's usually awkward as hell. Heads up to Mario 64 for amazing swimming mechanics. I could never get my young head around. This looks really steep all of a sudden. Okay. I wish she would footprints are still there from when we came back. That's pretty great. So I guess the snow laying mechanic's not working today. Here we go. Swimming in full. You want me to swim in there? I'll freeze my headset off. This water is very cold, but it holds items that you may find useful. Ooh. Swim to the bottom to find the best ones, but be sure to protect your essence. Okay. So, let's do this. Oh, dive. 8 out of 10. Okay, so the diving isn't too bad. That's pretty hilarious. Anyway. So, top right hand corner, we've got our health. And below that, it looks like our oxygen. Yep, that's going down. Yes, it is, thanks. Okay. So. I don't know if we need these, but let's just collect them for now. There might be a, a seashell merchant or something. Oh, what have we got here? Again, random crap. Oh, ammo. Okay. Righty then, so that's all of them done. Results. How did so, I did I pass? Yes, Ulukai. I had no doubt that you could pass our test. Oh, thank it was you. my honor to help you get out of your kink. I hope now that we will be able to learn more useful battle strategies from you. Your father wouldn't be too happy about that. My father does not want to see what is happening around him. He talks of the old moons of the Guardians and the I honor moons. their name once held. Never does he see that few are being left alive which believe the way he does. 
Ooh. Don't worry, Jan. I've never failed in a mission yet. I don't know what that one was in the title sequence or whatever, anyway. May the odds be silent during your travels, Ulukai. My father will be glad to hear that you are ready to begin. Thanks. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. You will need <laughs> this. Oh, I said very shadily. Almost. Hey, almost. that's an EVD. Where did you find this? Let's we'll find out what an EVD is, because we don't know what it is. Binoculars. This and many sacred objects are like all around binoculars. Delta now, Ulukai. When they were found, many believe them objects of the Yods. Yods, I'm guessing, is the gods? So, Krim, that's his father. Say, can you tell me a bit more about your father? Yeah. He is a great leader, oh. and if things were different in Adelpha, he would be the leader of all the Dolatai Guardians. <laughs> As it is this moon, we must hide or face the reverting flames of Aeron. Uh, this guy likes, this guy respects his dad, I think. He gets people to join him by burning them? Yes, Ulukai. What? Strange recruitment plan. How's your father fighting back? We never fight, although most of us would like to. I am beginning to think that my father's essence is going weak. I want to no longer listen to his teachings of Kazar and of peace. I <laughs> want more than anything to revert Feyron myself for what he has done. Okay, he doesn't have... Re Does he have respect for it? I'm very confused, but... This guy, I'm guessing he's like a... <laughs> he's quite a young Talan. And, um... Yeah, he seems to have a lot of anger issues. And let's go. Whoa, simmer down there, Jan. Yeah. I'm sure your father knows what he's doing. Exactly. We shall see soon enough. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so let's stop talking to Jan before he does the whole Braveheart routine on us. Is he smoking? Jan's father is just taking a big old puff. That's right, I saw you. Cheeky. And that guy was doing press ups. Keep yourself warm in here. Anyway, so let's try out this um, EVD or something, was it? How do I get that? Oh, that's not it. Nope. Nope. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay. We can go X ray vision. <laughs> this guy looks very awkward. Whoa, ow. Don't happen then. Father and son having a conversation there. Oh no, his dad's puffing it again. I think. Let's have a look. How do I zoom in on this? There we go. It's X ray and. Oh, there's. Yeah. Smoking a big fatty. Well, I guess narcotics make their way through any type of civilization, I guess. This guy's still not sure about us, is he? He's like, why are they why is he looking at me? <laughs> okay, let's just get out of it. Okay, so we've done the tests. And then we've got to go back to Jan's father, or Jan's father. He's got problems with the names. And we've got to open the Stark uh the Doka, sorry. Doopa doopa doo. Okie dokie. It's a great picture he's looking at. Uh, oh, we can ask him loads of stuff. Um, okay, ready to go, I guess. Excuse me, pal. So how can I get out of this joint? Yep. Have you finished Yang's tests, Ulukai? Yep. Sure did. He says I passed with flying colors. Now I should get going. As you wish, Ulokai. But before you leave, I will remind you of our deal. It's gonna break my legs if I don't. You find the five mons, and we will attempt to find that what you seek. That'll have to do for now. But just know, the second I find that probe, I'm completing the mission first. Understood? It shall be as you say, Ulokai. Now the path to your first mon lies in Shamazar, the region beyond the Daokai in our camp. Once you arrive there, you will need to find Shamaz Zeb. He may be in the village to the far west of the Daoka where you appear. Okay. So after Shamazar. Sounds like a plan. Yep. 
In other regions as well, you will need to find the Shamas. They are the only ones who can help you find the Mons. So the only people I should find are them? Others will try to help Ulukai. A good talent to find is also a recreator. I think they have discovered secrets about your sacred objects. The recreators? Yes. They and all others will help you. I only hope you will find the help of the leaders as well. The leaders of what? Many of the regions produce resources for the soldiers of Phelan and Croax. I have been in contact with many of them, but all are unwilling to stop their work for Feyran. So that's, I guess, side quests? We'll find out. They like working for him? No, Ulakai. They simply fear his anger, or they are too dumb to understand why we want to do this. Well, I'll see what I can do about that if I have the time. I know you can win them over. You have the mark of the Ulakai on you, and all will know your words carry great weight. Let's hope so. So that's what it is. I thought maybe one of your guys mistook me for a New York subway car. Be warned, Ulakai. Many soldiers have been seen now that you are known to be alive. You will want to stay away from the Temple Fey in the center of Shamazar. Oh. There are many soldiers there. Stay to the south end of Shamazar. So I guess that's a... If I'm feeling confident, there are lots of soldiers to... Thanks for the advice. To kill. Know this. Oh All guardians will be watching you. You will find our help when you are fulfilling the prophecy of the Urukai. And you will know our anger if you do not. Nope. All Talon will know your actions and treat you in the manner you treat them. So basically this game has a, like a morality meter. Um, yeah. It's quite funny when you're on the bad end of it. But um, for this playthrough, we're going to be good, being nice. It helps a lot. You just remember that I need to find the others and that probe. And we'll get along famously. Then I will activate the Dalka yes, for you. May the Yods be silent, Ulokai. Okie dokie. So, here we go. We've done all our tests in Razanar, whatever this place is called. And we are off to Shamazar. See Lady Arn, I'm off. Don't, what, if you start talking to your dad right now, so help me. He's starting the Oka for me. He doesn't want to talk to you. No, leave him alone. Alpha. Go away. Seriously? Thank you. Right. Okay. So here we are. He's typing in the code. You done? Oh. Alrighty then. So off to Shamazar. I think I'm going to leave it there for this episode. If you want to see what's through the portal, make sure you catch the next one. But for now, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you, see you under the two moons for more. See you later.